So in other words, the very opposite of what he's saying here. And basically, it shows the wisdom of God that he's addressing both extremes. So one extreme is to show off and get, try to get people's attention, and the other extreme is to hide your devotions, to hide your faith. So when it comes to virtue, the virtue is always in the mean, somewhere in between. So the virtue is that, yes, we do manifest some devotion publicly, but we do it for the right motives, because we know we should. And especially in our culture, it's very different from the culture that our Lord lived in and the Jewish culture in general, because today many Catholics, when they go out from outside the church, they live pretty much like everyone else. They don't manifest their faith in public. Yes, sometimes people might wear a crucifix, or sometimes people might make a sign of the cross when they say grace before meals in, in a public place or a restaurant. But in general, a lot of Catholics keep their faith hidden, and that's not good. So we shouldn't be afraid to, to manifest our faith. We do need to manifest our faith. We do need to talk about our faith. But even here in church, having others see us when we are praying, it's actually a good thing. Of course, we shouldn't do it just to get their attention, but we are an example to others. So the devotion that we have will manifest itself in our bodily demeanor. So how we receive communion, all these things manifest the devotion that we have, and it's important that these things are manifested to others. So let us do what we can to consider our motives when we are doing some good action. Are we doing it to receive praise or to receive thanksgiving? Are we giving gifts so that hopefully we receive something back? Or are we just giving from the generosity of our heart? So our motives are important. And it's important that we try to purify or perfect our motives so that we are doing it for a good cause. Praise